What is up, you horror nerds? It is me, your host, once again, Jeremiah Duncan. Hello. Hopefully you're doing wonderful. I'm bringing a movie to you today that I purchased, and um, it it intrigued me. It's probably more of a thriller, really, than in the horror genre. However, when the top says from the producers of Get Out, I have to check it out because I really dug that movie. I'm talking about the 2019 release of Don't Let Go. It is rated R. Um, change the past, save her future. So, if you aren't familiar with this movie, let's get you connected. One Chance to Change Destiny. Detective Jack Radcliffe, played by David Oye Lowo, Lowo um, gets a shocking phone call from his recently murdered niece, Ashley, played by Storm Reed, who was phenomenal in this. Working together across time, they race to solve her murder before it can happen. Don't Let Go is a classic thriller with a supernatural twist from Bloomhouse, the producers of Get Out. So that's where the connection is. Um, again, good film. I'm going to give it a 5.5 out of 10, even though it's more on the thrill, thriller side. It was uh, directed and co-written by Jacob Estes. He did the 2022 He's Watching uh, movie. Um, it also features, um, I'm going to jack this dude's name up, but um, McKelty Williamson. Um, you may know him from playing Bubba on Forrest Gump. He's actually a cop in this movie, so it's kind of weird to, you know, see him in a normal role, so to speak. Um, also had uh, Alfred Molina in it, who is Doc Ock in Spider-Man 2. So you have some good players. The acting's good. I mean, it's kind of cookie cutter, run of the mill. I mean, it's um, similar to the premise of the 2000 film Frequency, but they were using ham radios, talking to people that had um, passed on or the deceased. But now we're using cell phones because it's 20, well, 2019 in this world. So again, not a bad film. I watched it. I mean, I wouldn't be mad if it came on TV. I, I don't know if I'd change the channel. I'd probably watch it again, but it's not one that I would seek out. If you're into paranormal people or entities talking to you through a cell phone and trying to solve their murder, you know, like murder cases, dealing with cartel, or I don't remember who they were fighting against, check it out. It's not not bad. I wasn't mad, but I wasn't like, oh my God. So talking about the Don't Let Go 2019 rated R, 5.5 out of 10 for me. If you've seen it, comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like, subscribe, death bell for the notifications. Thank you all so much. I appreciate y'all. Stick around. Got more reviews coming.